Good morning, I'm Neva Reti Manu, and this is your morning news fix for Thursday, 1st of August. In this update, analysts are suggesting there's no way Iran can't retaliate against assassinations in some way. The country's vowing to avenge the killing of Ismail Hanye after his reported death in an airstrike in Tehran. It follows an Israeli strike on a top Hezbollah commander in Beirut, Lebanon, which Hezbollah has just confirmed. Otago University's Middle East politics expert Leon Goldsmith told Ryan Bridge part of it was timing. Normally, Ismail Haniyeh would have been in Doha, which would have been somewhere where Israel would never touch him. The fact that he happened to be in Tehran for the inauguration of uh, the new president gave the Israelis an opportunity to hit him. Improving household finances could give hope for an improving economy. The Centrix July credit indicator says 465,000 people are in arrears, down slightly month on month. Centrix's managing director, Keith McLaughlin, says the cost of living is starting to come down. And he says the number of people behind on payments is no longer growing, showing Kiwis are managing their budgets better than they were a year ago. Also coming down are housing consents. StatsNZ figures show fewer than 34,000 new homes were consented in the year to June, a 24% fall annually. CoreLogic Chief Property Economist Calvin Davidson says it's because of things like high interest rates, and he says the numbers need to be considered in context. Down a lot from that peak, but actually in the long run context, 34, 35 isn't too bad. So you have to keep in mind both sides in the corner, I guess. Two rugby players have been sentenced for a covert recording of them having sex with a woman in a shower. The woman discovered two days later that the video had been recorded and posted to a Snapchat group for premier rugby players across multiple clubs around Taranaki. Open Justice reports 32-year-old Trent Pickering has been sentenced to 15 months imprisonment, later converted to eight months home detention and ordered to pay reparations. The other man, a representative rugby player, has been sentenced to 12 months supervision and reparations and given 14 days interim name suppression. Judge Gregory Hikaka rejected calls for a discharge without conviction, saying this sort of behaviour must be deterred. A health commentator doubts new appointments at Health New Zealand will change much. The government's appointed four deputy chief executives to run different regions from next month. Ian Powell says if they come along with a change in culture, it could make a difference. He says there are bigger problems at Health NZ which need to be tackled. It has a very poor leadership culture. It is very vertical, it's very top-down, the way in which decisions are made. In sport, Hayden Wilde has earned a silver medal after getting overtaken by longtime British rival Alex Yee around 200 metres from the end of the men's Olympic triathlon. Men's skiff sailors Isaac McCarty and William McKenzie a third, heading into tomorrow's double-point medal race off the coast of Marseille. Rowers Shannon Cox and Jackie Kiddle have advanced to the lightweight women's double skulls final. And Angelique Kerber has retired from professional tennis career after her defeats in the game's quarterfinals. I'm Neva Reti Manu and that's your latest news fix. We'll be back with the next update at midday from the Newstalk ZB Newsroom.